Weed, W-E-E-D. That's the Canopy, Canopy Growth Corporation marijuana stock. And as you can see here, it's fairly new. No, I'm just kidding. It's just that my internet's really slow. So I'm going to take a look at Canopy Growth and the marijuana industry and see what's happening with these guys. And I guess this is probably a good a good episode to talk about Peter Leeds because Peter Leeds is one of the only macro guys that that talks about weed all the time. He loves talking about marijuana. And let's go, let's jump in here and and uh, smash that like button right now to help me out with the YouTube algorithm. Bang here. Okay, so dead cat crash, bull trap, and. This looks like not not super interesting as far as the crash is concerned. It didn't have much of a bull trap rally, and and this thing has turned over hard now. On the uh, the S and P just did sort of a double top. It's a five wave. It's a one, two, three, four, five wave, and this. Th this three, four, five is like a double top on the on the S and P bull trap that has already turned over now. It turned over on Thursday, and and weed. Let's get into the weeds. So let's get auto off, squish this thing, and let's see where we've been. So it's around twenty now, and it has been up to eighty. Okay, so it just got kind of a hype rally on the marijuana legalization up to around 60 to 80 range. And then it came back down to this kind of 20 range. And the stock market crash is just this little part here that's not too far off the, the pattern that we've seen. Okay, so I guess the fundamentals of marijuana that Peter Leeds always talks about is that there's just a massive oversupply and it's just not going to be good for growth stocks like for cannabis stocks and it looks like this credit contraction down cycle is also not going to be good uh, and it might actually be a good short this is on the canadian stock <laughs> oh, that's funny i lost my uh I lost my computer stand. <laughs> it just collapsed on me. So it could possibly be a good short, this stock, because, because we're getting the rips on the downs. And, well, I mean, we the first leg of the bull trap, we got a big move, and the second leg, not, not so much. So I don't know. I mean, well, first of all, you have to short the Canadian stock exchange. Most people don't have access to doing that. but. Yeah, uh, this is a weird one. This is not one of the sectors where it generally is going to crash during this kind of credit contraction cycle because we're in a three month or I should say four month. It looks longer than three months now. Um, you know, one, two, three and some change cycle where it's a, just a down bounce bounce kind of shape that we're looking for on the credit contraction cycle. That's the general shape, except that we've switched out into a bear market. So we're in a credit contraction cycle downhill in a bear market right now, off the top of the everything bubble, which blew off right here. And these stocks for the next month have, they've been in a, a long-term downtrend and now they're in an aggressive downtrend. Uh, during this cycle, they're crashing with everything else and not bouncing back very well. So. That's kind of the outlook. Oh yeah, this is Brian Lewis with MMT Investing. And this is not investment advice, but things did just change. And I guess that's a that's a good look at uh, Peter Leeds. I can chat about him a little bit more. Um, he likes gold and he likes the gold miners and he likes talking about commodity stocks and the oil crash. He was all over that oil crash. I like listening to him try to uh, point out things that might crash because he, uh, He's pretty good at looking for some problems that may be arising. And he was all over the oil crash, uh, which not a whole lot of people were. And he really, really likes gold miners. He's always talking about Barrick gold. And I haven't 
<clears throat> excuse me, I haven't really dug into all the mining stocks yet. And I think I should start getting into the commodities and the mining stocks uh, pretty soon here. But all the buzz this week is the oil tankers. And I haven't really heard Peter Leeds talking about the oil tankers. Um, but those are going nuts. And that's the videos that everybody wants. So I'm just going to get a few of these out. And then I'm going to get right back to the oil tankers and, and cover all the crazy stuff. The, the IMO, International Maritime Organization, and the new laws for oil tankers and the scrubbers and which which tanker companies have debt and bad balance sheets and which ones have scrubbers and where their ports are and who's lined up outside of which ports. Uh, there's huge, huge piles of tankers like in in the Gulf in the uh, the Gulf of Mexico, like around the Texas area, and there's a bunch off California and even more are showing up and a bunch off China and Hong Kong and Singapore is jammed up. So there's long, long lines of oil tankers full of oil. The product tankers are are starting to fill up with crude oil because they ran out of crude oil tankers. So that has nothing to do with the weed stock. Sorry. Sorry guys. Back to weed. Um yeah I think I think that the weed stocks are a very bad short term play and a weird short. It's kind of hard to predict them as a short end. I don't think, yeah. I mean, even when we get out here to this credit expansion at the end of this credit contraction cycle, we're going to get an expansion growth kind of shot, which is our V shaped recovery, sort of, but probably is not going to be a V shape up to near the top. It's probably going to be a V shaped recovery to a low level and kind of set up a bear market off the top of this bubble but we'll uh we'll see we'll see the action we get and i think the weed stocks are not a sector that's going to be a killer in the expansion phase either i mean big tech is a big one in the expansion so yeah weed weed may be interesting but the weed stocks not so much that's my take and uh, thank you for listening and enjoy your uh, enjoy your weekend <laughs>